Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have Robin Ford and Robin's going to be playing his track Freedom. So let's get Robin up on screen and see how he gets on. Okay, we can start to hear the dynamic is changing. I wanted to play this video from the beginning where you could hear that crowd noise then bleeding into the track because Robin absolutely is the master of dynamics. The way that he starts that track, he just ever so slightly plays so they can just hear it but it's not really there and then gradually the band comes in and it is so well done. But just talking about Robin's playing, his playing dynamically is so cool, the fact that he uses fingers quite a lot of the time, especially on these quieter pieces. And then you'll see when the dynamic actually changes, he then gets into using a pick, gets a slightly more aggressive sound. Just his phrasing, his tone, his control of vibrato as well. I always say about the top players, Robin's absolutely got control of that vibrato and is just getting the guitar to sing exactly how he wants it to. Another thing to point out is the great use of tremolo here. And just to explain tremolo, it's one of those things that gets confused with vibrato all the time. And I'm not sure why, but tremolo is a slow swelling in volume and then a decrease in volume. So here, Robin's actually doing it with a foot pedal. So when he strikes his chord, he rocks that pedal backwards and forwards, therefore getting the volume to swell in and out. So it gives a really unique effect and you'll all recognize it, but that's called tremolo. Whereas vibrato is not a change in volume is a change in pitch so that the note that you actually start from when you vibrato you just raise that pitch ever so slightly and then come back down you can work it the other way singers sometimes go down in pitch and then come back up again but once you do that at a regular frequency that will give you that vibrato that sound so tremolo and vibrato two totally different things but let's get into this next part where we've now got this dynamic change <laughs> Thank you. 
just going to jump in here to mention the band, the fact that this works so well because the band are totally into it and the band get it. Every single player here knows their job and is doing it perfectly. So many times you get a band where someone's either trying to show off or take the limelight and sometimes other guys don't really understand about dynamics and they're just playing too loud where it should be quiet, whereas these guys are all on the same page. And what I love about Robin's playing as well is the fact that this isn't a million notes a second, even though he's got the ability to do that. It's great restraint with his playing because it's what the composition requires and that's how he's written it. He wants everything to have that breathing space and sometimes not playing. Sometimes the silence is as important as the noise when you're playing in a band and especially with a composition like this, it's all about groove, feel and dynamics. I've just moved on the video a little bit because I'm not going to have time to have a look at this whole video. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can check out this whole performance because it's definitely worth it. But I just want to showcase this change, this dynamic change that we're just about to go through. <laughs> Just going to jump in here because it is such a cool dynamic that they've got going on, literally tiptoeing on all of their instruments. You can see the keys are just ever so slightly pushing down. You can still hear it all in there. The drummer's really holding back. It's great to hear this dynamic change, just a great band. And Robin here is just swelling in that volume. You could see him bouncing up and down, but that's because he had his foot on the pedal that we just saw where he's just literally bouncing up and down and bringing that volume in and out quickly with his playing. Back in the day, uh, they used to do this with the little finger. You can do it on your guitar manually by you know, getting your finger around the volume and swelling it in and out by turning it to 10 and then back to zero very quickly um, to get exactly the same effect. But here he's just using that pedal to great effect. And this is what he was using to get that tremolo sound in the beginning of the track as well. But again, something different, something that's going to make it interesting. This whole track, 8 minutes 40, so there's a lot going on in this track and there has to be those amount of dynamic changes in order to keep it interesting the whole time. But Robin knows this and Robin's absolutely got the ability to change it up all the time. Real great playing here all round. Not only Robin's lead technique, which is just fantastic, and his appreciation of dynamics and restraint and just playing for the song for the composition and not just putting in notes for notes sake but the whole band is absolutely on it here and i've just run it forward again i don't want this video to go on for too long so just quickly before i finish i just want to play the ending of this track
And I just wanted to play the ending because it's such a cool ending. Whereas what I love about this is the fact that Robin and the band don't actually resolve the last chord. They just let it hang out there. One of those things that if you don't um, play or you don't know anything about music, basically not resolving means that you don't go back and you're all expecting to make a full circle and go back to the chord you started with. Whereas they don't actually end that progression they cut it short so they don't resolve it and that's what they do here it's uh, just a really cool sound but anyway thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at and keep those suggestions coming in the comments below let me know what you guys think and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys at the next one rock